Mikey Premium coming in clutch. Remote start, baby. Can't believe the snow is already here, man. This is insane. This came out of nowhere. 10% off, link down below. Dude, this is horse shit. Came into the office for three hours. Oh my gosh, it's like a blizzard, dude. Already. This is the Midwest for you guys. All right, guys, so I still have the MyKey Premium Link. I love it. I just used it coming out of the office today. My car is clearly covered in snow. That thing's worth every penny. I have a 10% discount code still for you guys, so make sure you're using that. Came out to a nice warm car. But having heated freaking seats and heated steering wheel is such a nice luxury. Freaking love it. All-wheel drive system on this car is freaking phenomenal. This car is sick. So I got a home with Christian. He said I could swing through. I'm gonna try to get up there this afternoon because I'm not leaving the MBRP on here, dude. I'm gonna sell it. Plus, I'm not going up to the dealer with all the stuff on the car, bro. <laughs> yeah, bad enough my license plate says twin turbo. To the next person who owns this car, I'm sorry, you know. But really, I got on it mainly for YouTube. I really took good care of this car, so I think people think this car's all ragged out or something. It's not, it's still got a lot of life left in it. I just kind of, just kind of, uh, I just kind of, you know, expedited a little bit of the wear. <sighs> Alright guys, I gotta go remove some stuff off the car real quick. Yep, I'd say winter is here. Jon Snow. I'm gonna go check out this Beamer. Alright boys. We got car parts, hella car parts. Locals get dibs, man, so all the locals I know. I get dibs on all this shit that I'm taking off. First, we'll figure out something. I'm hoping to do some giveaways for you guys. Maybe like splitters and that rear carbon fiber spoiler, some shit like that. Water meth injection would be a pretty sick giveaway. What do you guys think? Comment down below. What'd you want? Definitely gotta take these off. The biggest red flag when you open the hood, it's like, oh my God, the wrinkle red intake. The exhaust, I gotta go see Christian on the west side. All right, guys, I got to get going. I'm going to come back to working on this car, but I do want to let you know, poor man's BOV set up here. You can VTA, vent to atmosphere, your diverter valves here, okay? All you're doing is you're removing the hose that generally connects here to the intake, but you have to make sure you cap this off or you're going to be screwed because you don't want nothing going directly into that turbo there. Cap that off, take off the hose. That's all you do. It doesn't mess with the air fuel ratios. I've already confirmed that the JB4, you know, it idles and wide open throttle. Everything's completely fine, especially if you have the JB4. You know, these are modern cars that ECU is going to compensate. Now, an older car, that would probably mess it up will sound sick actually let's go for a quick drive the beauty of having a hatchback sick man taking all this stuff off the car is a lot of freaking work but uh dude check out these add one blow off valves the pro ones i would stay clear of those okay this is with the six threads exposed the first ones uh they were better But they also, if you guys remember when I let off, they would make that like, like, How's it sound? It sounds really good. The pops in the You hear that noise up there? Listen. Hear that? Up there? What do you mean up sounds there? Sounds like a piano. Listen. <laughs> the front. What the, the hell? That's the blow valve. Yeah. Sound like the spring was like reverbing or something. I don't know. But BOV mod, I want you guys to hear this. I think it's like, this BOV mod is like a no brainer if you want your you want that blow off valve sound. That's just an exhaust back there. <laughs> Hold on, listen to this. This will be a good uh, test run. Not bad, man. Not as loud as the uh, obviously blow off valves, but. Damn, dude, I'm E30, TCU, JV4, MAP3, exhaust intakes, vent atmosphere. Problem is, is it snowed. Everything's wet and just shitty, so I can't really like, even with traction control on this thing, just goes nuts. Sorry for the rattles. We're gonna have to get sideways or something. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so powerful, I love it. Some action for us. 
Lhasa Tech snorkels right up there. Oh yeah. Dude, this all-wheel drive is insane. This thing really tracks. Looking state trooper right there, dude. <laughs> oh, I got so lucky. Please don't come, please don't come. Yeah, I did hurt that, dude. I was getting all, all crazy all over the road. Freaking Porsche, bro. Looking kind of clean. Get gap. All right, so Christian's not here, but his uh, his dad's here, Miguel. Dude's super cool, man. He's about to, like, I just got here, and he's about to help me out, man. It's 2 o'clock. I'm not going to rush, though. I don't want to, like, try to rip every mod off this car just to go see this, this BMW I'm looking at. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Regardless, I need this thing stock ASAP. I don't even know the name of this shop, but if you guys are in Indianapolis and need some, some work done on the low, just... Just send me a message and I'll tell you where to go. You guys go over here. He's got a lift, super cool. He can weld. He does great exhaust work. So, but yeah. See, man, if you guys want something done on the low, you got to come to the hood. Gail. <laughs> Damn, cowboy. You're about to hit the wall. Look at the Jesus sticker, bro. That's how you know we're on the west side. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. There it comes. Hola, amigo. Okay. Can you pull it on top or? Huh? Can you drive it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I got you. Let's go. Just in case you want to sit down. I appreciate it, man. Miguel. Yeah, yeah. man. All right, guys, so here's the plan. I'm gonna get this exhaust taken off today. I'm gonna go home, gotta get rid of those intakes, swap out the intakes, and again, like I said earlier, locals only, get first dibs on all the car parts on the Stinger. I'm not gonna try to do everything tonight though. I'm gonna try to get everything off the car by tomorrow and then Monday after work. I'm gonna swing by and check out that car. I think it'll be there. I think it'll still be there, so it's all good, no worries. But uh I think I'm gonna go grab these guys some uh, some street tacos and I want five myself. That's a good tip, what do you guys think? Three street tacos a piece, 15, so I need 20. No, do it again. Okay, sweet man, nice and quiet. <laughs> Damn, I forgot we welded that. Hopefully this fits. <laughs> I'm gonna have that thing sticking in the front by my arm, dude. Ah, stainless. Yes, man, you guys are the shit. Hey, Christian, what's up, bro? I'm gonna get you guys some tacos, bro. Is there a taqueria right now? Yeah, there's one in a little high If I make a right out of here? Yeah. Okay. Can I wash my hands somewhere? Uh, there's a bathroom over there. All right. Thanks, honey. You guys got a Maserati over there. That's nice. Woo! Yeah. yeah. This is random. <laughs> yeah, man. Sweet. See the taco de carne asada? You? Okay. Yeah? Of course I would pull when I have to push. Christian. Hey, I'm going to go grab some tacos, man. Oh no, man, this thing's too quiet, bro. Tacos for a tip? I think so. And front splitter better not rip off. <sighs> These guys love this car, man. This thing looks so fire under those lights in there, dude. I can't wait to edit that B-roll. We got the exhaust taken apart. So uh, David, I, I know you said you wanted this exhaust, dude. So uh, I'm gonna, we're, we'll just come back here, man. I'll have them guys put that exhaust back together for you and We'll have them install it. Let me go find a taqueria, dude, because I'm hungry too. And you know me, I'm tacos for L. <laughs> for real though, tacos for L. I'm not even being like, I'm not even stereotyping, bro. I'm gonna ask them if they wanted some cheeseburgers or some white shit. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. They're like family. So I can even, I can joke around. So yeah, let's go. So quiet. Oh no, this thing is way too quiet. All right, I gotta find a taqueria, dude. 
Dude, I'm so white. I thought that was a freaking taqueria, bro. I can't read that shit. I don't even know what that says, but it's like a dessert shop. Oh, I think it's over there. Son of a bitch, and there's a fin. You guys imagine if I got dropped off in Mexico, dude? I'd be so screwed. I would learn it. Now that I'm done studying mortgage law, I'm studying Spanish. I really want to learn it, man. I want to learn Spanish, and then I want to go to like a Spanish, like a native country, like either Mexico or just some some place in Central America or even South America, and just like talk to people in Spanish. I think that'd be so rad. If any of you guys speak Spanish? Just curious. Comment down below if you can speak Spanish or say something in Spanish down below. Let me get them tacos. Let me, let me get them tacos. I need 20 tacos. It's gonna be like 50 bucks, but. You guys have salsa? Uh, perfecto. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks so fire. This is it. All right. Just gracias. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Woo! LFG, bro. So the bottom of that thing's covered in grease, dude. Look at all those tacos, man. That thing weighs like 10 pounds. Yeah, bro, we don't mess around, man. We're hungry. Enjoy, man. Is that enough for you, man? Huh? Is that enough for you? It's more than enough for you, man. Hey, Christian, man. Later, bro. Thank you again. I appreciate you coming through. So I think I'm going to help Christian uh, actually um, with his business, with photography and taking some photos. You know what, man? The guys that I gave the tacos to, like, you could just tell, man, they were actually, like, so thankful. They were so grateful, like, I don't know, man. I was just kind of like analyzing some things and I'm just like, man, you know what? I gotta be more grateful for, for everything that I have. I wanna promote that to everybody out there, man. Like, we gotta be thankful. Bro, come on, bro. This dude, we got to, uh... ooh, that was close. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, I really do, I, I really mean it, man. Like, I wanna promote, like, being more grateful, more gratitude in life, just in general. It's really, really easy to get caught up in, like, oh, I don't have this, I want that, I want a better car, I want, you know what I mean? And like, just look around, man. Like, just go places in your city where there's not as much money or something and you'll just, I don't know, man. It just makes you like, really just kind of be grateful. And I think that's super important, man. I wanna put that out there. I wanna put that vibe out there to the world just to be just to be grateful for what you have, man. And just be more like observant of your surroundings and just look around and just be like, damn, you know what I mean? Like they would love to have this, like people would love to have this car. And then after a while you have a car, you get used to it. You know what I mean? It's just probably got cilantro on my teeth again. <laughs> All right, man, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I'm gonna keep rolling out videos as we progress in life until we get the car we want. And uh, for the channel, just keep running it up and stay blessed. All right, man. Until the next one, I will catch you later. Peace.